3D printers are getting famous day by day. So why not ask yourself a question, how does really these things work? If so, welcome to the Revin Productions video. Using 3D printers, you can create real life 3D model of anything at just instant from a computer generated model. 3D printing sometimes also referred as additive manufacturing. That's because it creates an object by adding layer upon layer. It was first incorporated in use by a man named Hidoya Kodama while working in Nagoya Municipal Industrial Research Institute. He used a polymer called thermoset polymer which is basically a soft plastic for creating a 3D model. And now also the most common material used for 3D printing is plastic. But we are also using glass, metals and other materials too. Here is a time lapse video of 3D glass printer printing 3D designs. Three D printing involves two main steps. First is modeling of the object, and second one is printing. In modeling, we create a computer aided design using a three D scanner. Three D scanner collects all data about the shape and color of the object. These are almost like cameras in collecting information of the view region. These cannot collect the detail of obscure region which is hidden, and multiple scans are required to get the complete image of the object. And after each disturbance, the object is again aligned with the common reference system and then all scans are merged together to create the complete model. These 3D scanners are of two types. One is contact and other one is non-contact. In contact one, a contact is being made between the object and the scanner. But they are not used now that much. Non-contact scanners are used widely today because of their ease and these are of many kinds rely on different technology. But the most basic concept on which they work are different kinds of waves, such as X-rays. What these rays do is just they hit the objects and the scanner placed inside the 3D scanner notices the deformation and everything else and give you the picture of the object. Finally, these are turned to the computer and then checked for any kind of errors. And then these errors are rectified. And finally converted to the STL file format which is a file format for 3D generated images and contains all necessary codes for further interpretation in the softwares. After this, it might take hours or days depending on the technique used and the size of the model to create a complete 3D model. As I said earlier also that it is done layer by layer and there should be something that printers could use to measure these models and layers. They do so in dots per inch, which is basically used by every other printer. Let's say your printer reads 1200 dots per inch. This means 1200 dots has been there in an inch. A layer thickness is around 100 micrometer, which is like way small. A filament of polymer is inserted inside the printer, which runs to the nozzle at the bottom and which in turn melts the plastic. And the nozzle is controlled by a motor which in turn add layers and that turn it into a complete 3D object. And after all this done, there might be some error in the model which are removed by cutting the material down and this process is called subtractive process. 3D printing finds wide variety of applications everywhere, such as the 3D printed food is becoming very popular and clothes, jewelry and 3D printed sculptures. In construction, in automobile industries and especially in biomedical, doctors are working on 3D printed tissues and replaceable organs. 3D printing is already changing how we produce and recreate objects, we just need to extend our creative side and then just create it. Hope you all get some good out of this video and thanks for watching. Please like, share and do comment in the comment section below. Bye bye till the next one.